Hi, this is another Ask Augustine. Today I'm going to talk about harmonics. Natural harmonics, artificial harmonics, all sorts of harmonics. So, let's start with natural harmonics. This, these kinds of... These kinds of harmonics uh, that are really fun to play and can be really useful sometimes in passage work. Sometimes playing a note as a harmonic gives you a kind of re uh, international reference point. It's a note that you know is going to be in tune if it speaks. Or Sometimes when I do a scale... I'll actually play the, um, this note as harmonic. And there are many cases like this, even in arpeggios. But this can be helpful. Um, sometimes integrating a harmonic into passage work um, can make it can make it really sparkle because the harmonic will um, will sound really in tune, really clear. As long as you as long as you hit it. One thing to keep in mind with harmonics is that they actually. Uh, that if you have to go back and forth between harmonic and a regular note, sometimes it happens, you know, that you have a note and then eventually you want to play um, a normal note, you actually have to go down slightly with the finger, because if you put it down exactly where you are, you will actually be too sharp. Um, you will, it feels like I have to go down very slightly. So you, um, you, you can, if you practice this, you'll get a feeling for just just how far down the the, the uh, normal solid note would be from the harmonic. Um, when you have harmonics that are kind of like brilliant notes that you throw away, like uh, and to be honest, there's one like this, these ones. Uh, my advice for those ones is uh, obviously we, we're doing a slide into the harmonic, and then for the harmonic to ring, you have to lift the finger just when you hit the note. It's important not to lift too early or too late, otherwise it won't speak right. And for it to really sparkle and, and, and be energetic, you actually need to help with the bow as well. It's this kind of thing. That right as I'm hitting the harmonic note, I'm actually giving extra bow speed. So. And then it really sounds like, wee! It's kind of, it's sort of very, um, uh, very brilliant um, way to play them. So artificial harmonics. Um, the most common artificial harmonics that you'll see, and it, it's become almost like a standard to always print them like this in the music, is that they're written as fourths. So um, the fourth harmonic is like your probably the, the most commonly encountered artificial harmonic. The key uh, to, to that I mean, basically is the fourth has to be in tune and uh, you have to press the first finger down quite firmly for it, to, for it to speak. Otherwise you can have the effect that actually you are starting to hear slightly the other finger, the one that's touching lightly, and you don't want to hear any part of that pitch. I don't want to hear part of, this, uh, part of this B, I only want to hear the F sharp. So fourths always ring two octaves above the fundamental note. But sometimes in harmonic passages you can use other fingerings for harmonics, other, other types of harmonics that are fifths for example uh, or natural harmonics um, and integrate them in there. Ultimately you can use any method you want, any combination of harmonics you want in order to get the pitches that the composer wanted. It's kind of whatever works best. And the, the notation of writing, f that, that when you see fourth harmonics all over the music, it's basically just because it's, the, it's kind of the standard way of notating them, but um, when Paganini wrote down his music, he actually didn't note it that, 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 uh, like that. He just wrote the pitches he wanted to hear and wrote harmonici, and yeah, you, you were supposed to figure it out yourself. So one uh, type of harmonic that I love to use is actually um, fifth harmonic. So instead of... It's like this. Fifth harmonics sound one octave above the higher note, the one that you're not pressing down. Uh, fifth harmonics have some advantages. First of all, um, they're pretty forgiving in terms of intonation, in terms of how you you you're um, in terms of how wide that fifth is that you're producing. It'll still it'll still speak um, if it's not completely a hundred percent in tune to fifths, which is helpful if, if it's a very fast passage. If I'm going to, 
this sort of sort of thing. Um, they can be enormously helpful this way. They also speak really clearly and are a little bit louder than fourth harmonics. Obviously, it takes some getting used to because it is a bigger stretch. But the other advantage is you don't actually need to press down the first finger as hard as you do with fourths. With fourths, you really have to play pretty firmly with the first finger. Otherwise, it starts to not speak. But um, fifth harmonics, if I press them both lightly, they will often still still speak. So it, it, you can actually be a little bit more relaxed with the hand. Uh, it becomes, when I practice uh, um, harmonic passages where I found fingerings with fifths or combination, different combinations, when I would do this, that's a natural one, this is a natural one, and then I'm back to fifths, I sometimes go back and forth. So at that point, once I've found a fingering like this, then my practice is actually mostly about what I do with the bow, because um, sometimes just, just how I hit it with the, with the bow can help a harmonic speak or not. Certain harmonics, like fifths, are actually more likely to speak, and I think fourths as well, are more likely to speak when you use quite a bit of bow speed. Um, if, if, the, if the impulse like for the string to ring is pretty big. But there are others that are kind of uh, sensitive. So third harmonics, which you find sometimes in double stops, where you go like... They're really, really finicky, and um, at least on this violin, if I, if, I, if I play like this, half the time it actually doesn't speak. I have to sometimes be like, be a little bit more, more, more cautious on those, whereas these, I can, um, I can play quite loudly, and then here I have to be just a little more careful to, to, um, to play the note just the right way so that the harmonic will, will, will speak because sometimes it doesn't want to. So uh, third harmonics are really something that you probably want to use only in the context of double stop harmonics because otherwise they're really a, a pain. They're not, um, not something you would use like in a, harmon in, a, in a scale like of regular harmonics. I hope that's helpful and uh, see you next time.